Hello all and welcome to yet another brand new video. So in today's video today we will be showing you guys how to up or sorry how to downgrade your Nintendo Switch firmware from any firmware to a later uh, to a earlier firmware. Now with this being said you will just need to keep in mind that your Switch will need to be exploitable and it will need to be running a CFW. I will be running the uh, Hecate uh, bootloader for this because it bypasses a fuse check so that means that I can upgrade or downgrade and it doesn't change my fuse count so I can just run the software and the firmware and there's no problems there um, as well this means that you can also downgrade if your fuses have been burnt because it sort of bypasses a fuse check so let's say that you're um, you've downgraded uh, sorry you've upgraded to firmware 8.0 um, by accident and you've done it officially and it's obviously burned all the fuses to get you to firmware 8.0 if this is the case, if you use the Hecate bootloader, you can still downgrade to an earlier firmware as long as you always use that to boot the console. Otherwise, if you try and boot stock, you won't be able to because the fuse count will be incorrect. So you'll brick the console like that, but it'll only be bricked until you um, launch it with the Hecate bootloader and then update it to the correct firmware. So um, with that being said, I'll show you guys how to get started on that. So um, this is, tutorial will be assuming that you know how to um, run the Hecate bootloader, I'll make a separate video showing you guys how to specifically use that um, and how to check to see if your switch is exploitable. So um, if you want to watch that, I'll put a card up the top showing you guys how to do that. But otherwise, let's go ahead. Let's say that you um, know how to exploit your switch and you know how to run Homebrew. So the Homebrew that you're going to need to download is the this one here. I believe it's uh, pronounced Choi Du Jour NX. I'm not 100% sure if I butchered that or not, but you need to download this. So go ahead and download the latest version of it at the moment it's version 102 and then what you want to do is you want to insert your switches SD card so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now okay so once you've inserted the SD card you want to go and seek to the uh, switch folder so there's a folder that will be named switch if you've got other homebrew if not create the folder and you want to drag and drop the NRO file into here. So as you can see, I've already gone ahead and done this. So I've downloaded it from this website. It'll just create a file to download just like that. Uh, once it's downloaded, you open it up with whatever you're using to unzip your uh, zip files. And then just go click and drag like that. But I'm not gonna do it because I've already got mine in there. Um, the next thing you're gonna need to do is you need to obtain the firmware yourself. So I'm not gonna be supplying a link to the firmware just because I believe there's some issues with um, supplying this uh, legally and whatnot. It's not very hard to find. As long as you Google it, you'll probably find it within one of the first two results. So I'm gonna leave that for you to find. It's pretty easy. But once you have it, what you need to do is you need to get the firmware. It'll be named something like this and you wanna put it on the root of your Nintendo Switch. Uh, SD card. So as you can see here, this is the root folder. This is like when it just opens the SD card, this is what you see. So we're just going to grab this folder and we're going to drag and drop it in there like that. And it usually takes uh, about maybe a minute to copy because um, there's about just short of a gig of files in there. So it's not too much, but um, we'll speed that up and we'll get back to you in a moment. Okay, so that's done being copied. As you can see, the folder is now here. Now I'm just going to rename it to make it a little bit cleaner. So 8.1.0. Um, that way it's set in the USB like this, or sorry, in the SD card like this. So what you can do now is you can go ahead and safely eject your SD card. So as you can see, it's come out. Now once it's done that, you can safely unplug it from the PC. Uh, next thing you want to do is insert it back into your switch, and then you want to... Uh, run the exploit to get into the Hecate uh, boot menu. So I'm going to just uh, plug in my switch now and I'll show you guys from the Hecate boot menu. Okay, so once you're in the Hecate boot menu, you're just going to want to go launch and then launch your CFW as you normally would. So we're on the Cosmos uh, Atlas one. This is the one that we're using. And it doesn't take too long to load. It's a pretty decent firmware, so we're going to just load it up. 
and once you get to this menu just log in to your switch as you normally would now i'm just going to show you the firmware version we have now to show you that it's actually being downgraded so if you go into system you can see the current firmware version is 9.1.0 um, and that's uh, atmosphere 0.10.1 so we're going to go to 8.1.0 so what you need to do is you need to go to the home menu and from here you want to go into album and from here you want to open up Troy de Jour and you want to seek to the folder that has your firmware that you've just copied so firmware 8.1.0 is the one that we're looking at and then once you're there just press choose down the bottom here and it'll check it and it'll make sure it's good now this part here you guys need to make sure that you double check because this is very important if you have an SD card that's formatted as XFAT then you'll need to use this option here if your SD card is formatted as FAT32 you can use either option but I still recommend using XFAT just in case you decide that you want to change it in the future to an XFAT SD card if you choose this one with an XFAT SD card it will not work with the SD card it will not read it so um, yeah you won't be able to do it you have to flush the firmware again so i recommend doing it this way so i'm going to choose this one because i have an xfat sd card so it'll just double check everything and make sure the files check out correctly and there you go everything looks good so it says uh it's a success and let's go forward to installing the firmware so it's just verifying it one more time and it's extracting everything so it's ready to go now over here you guys will notice you've got the current firmware is 9.1.0 the target is 8.1.0 and we want to have this tick where it says parent fuse burning enable auto rcm now there's some people that wouldn't use this um the only time that i see that you shouldn't use this is if you have a mod chip that specifically uh has the trigger to auto rcm your thing for you without having the actual switch set to auto rcm but with that being said that's like the only case where i wouldn't use it and i still would use it because there's no no point in really having that because this it can be reversed very easily um all of the hobra even this current launcher that i use the hecate launcher can just roll it back to you know stock and have it not auto rcm if that makes sense so I, I recommend you have that ticked to prevent yourself from accidentally burning fuses so you won't be able to downgrade in the future if you want to use stock firmware on an old version and um yeah don't click the system initialize unless you really want to do a factory reset but you don't need to do that so i'm going to go start installation and it does take a little bit of time not too long at all as you can see it's moving quite quickly so i'm just going to let it finish that process and then um, we'll reboot the switch and we'll see how it goes okay so as you can see it's now done so it's just giving you a warning saying to use the uh, no gc boot patches so that it doesn't update the game card um hecate does that by default it's enabled so that your game card reader won't update uh just to explain to you in case you want to know what it means it means that you will not be able to use your game card reader to use play games if it's already been updated so if you updated via official firmware unfortunately you won't be able to use the game card reader anymore because the fuses would be burned further past the um expected amount so you won't be able to do that unless you're on the firmware or more ahead i guess of the firmware that you are um, that, that that has been burned for um so that's also goes for if you're upgrading the system if the fuses have not been burned on the game card reader then it won't work with the um firmware at this current point in time and that's just a limitation so um then again you can still just back up your games on that firmware and then you know that, that you can bypass it by doing that so it's a bit of a process but it doesn't take too long so as you can see if we reboot now if we go reboot it'll reboot straight back to the um hecate launcher and uh, i believe it's in tools as well or settings it might be in settings so you can see the um the c auto no gc is on so it stops the um patches from automatically being applied so it, it just stops it okay um so we'll go back to home and we'll launch the cfw again and as you can see we've launched back to the home menu so if we go into the system settings and you scroll down to system you can see here now we're on atmosphere 10.1 uh, sorry 0.10.1 and you're on the current system version 8.1.0 so again just reminding you all this will work on any switch that has the tegra exploit available 
and it has um, been exploited running custom firmware. So please, if you have any questions, make sure to drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to help you out. Um, anything else, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace, guys.